Average true range, one of the most popular trading indicators that can be used in a few different ways. I use it myself extensively in my own trading. I trade algorithmic strategies that I execute on an automated basis and almost all of them use ATR in some way. In this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to use ATR to trade breakouts in the market. Specifically, I will walk you through one of my own automated algorithmic systems that trades volatility breakouts and uses ATR to do so. Now, since I only trade algorithmic systems that can be objectively backtested, I will share the exact rules and backtest performance with you as well, not just a couple of cherry-picked trading setups. You'll therefore take away a fully functional volatility breakout strategy from this video. Before we continue, make sure to watch other videos in these ATR series as well. I'll put a link in this video's description for you. ATR is an indicator that measures the volatility of the market. It measures the intensity or the magnitude, if you will, of the price swings. I have the ATR applied on this chart of NASDAQ ETF in orange below the price chart. And we can see that the ATR changes, it you know, rises and subsequently falls to indicate the change in market's volatility. This becomes more apparent as I zoom in on this chart. We can see that market's volatility is relatively low in this area. This is visible on the size of individual candlestick bodies. This is associated with low ATR readings. Subsequently, volatility spikes as it's mean reverting in nature. And this is associated with high ATR readings. ATR is therefore a great tool to determine just how volatile the market is. And more importantly, a great tool to determine where to open a trade when speculating on the volatility breakout. The concept of volatility breakout is very simple yet powerful. We determine what the current level of volatility is, we take a certain fraction of it and use this fraction to calculate our trade entry level. We're essentially saying that if the market is strong enough to break through what we deem to be a standard or normal volatility level, it will likely be strong enough to sustain its momentum and perhaps start a new trend, at least for some limited time that is. This is an example uh, of trade that my volatility breakout strategy made recently. On this day, it took the current ATR reading, calculated the level at which to buy, which would have been at this top purple level, and placed buy stop order at the open. Market broke this level, strategy opened a trade, and closed it in a profit at close of the very same day. This is a simple intraday volatility breakout strategy that I personally trade in multiple markets in uh, US futures. Now, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see all other trades that this strategy made recently annotated on the chart. As far as the actual rules are concerned, you can start with these rules and build up from there. This is a functioning volatility breakout strategy that I trade in micro NASDAQ futures. It uses ATR indicator based on five days. Then it determines whether the market opens above yesterday's close and checks whether this difference is greater than one fifth of the ATR reading. If so, it places a buy stop order. Again, one fifth uh, from today's open and this code comes from Ami Broker, which is software that I use to develop my algorithmic strategies. I trade this strategy as well as others in a portfolio on an automated basis. This is a snippet of my Python code that I use to run the strategy without my intervention. Now, if you're serious about systematic trading, then I could not recommend investing into building an automated trading proposition like this one enough it is going to truly catapult your trading progress massively. And now the results. As this is a mechanical strategy, I was able to backtest it on historical data. This backtest assumes trading NASDAQ ETF uh, with a ticker of triple Q, backtest going back to 1993, and trading commissions have been included 
worth noting is that the strategy has been doing well in 2022, despite the market itself has not. Risk adjusted annual return at around 26% after the commissions have been included with an associated drawdown of 26% also. And there you have it. Now you know how to use the ATR to trade volatility breakouts and have a simple strategy to get you started. You've been watching Critical Trading. See you in the next one.